I have been playing a lot of Generation 6. Pokemon X and Y were the first Pokemon games where I didn't really do much after I beat the main story. The Friend Safari or Poke Radar, forget about it. I just kind of dropped the games. But I recently decided to give Chain Fishing a try, which is a shiny hunting method in Generation 6. It's one of the only method hunts that I had never tried before. And water type Pokemon are one of my favorite types, so I figured this would be right up my alley. If you're unfamiliar, method hunts are just a way to shiny hunt with increased shiny odds. Chain fishing was a really popular method hunt because it was pretty fast and mindless. You weren't counting patches of wild grass like with the pokey radar. You were just pressing A and fishing. How hard could it be? All you have to do is hook a Pokemon with a fishing rod of your choice and then run away from the Pokemon if it isn't shiny. Each hook increases your chance for a shiny fish. Once you've hit a chain of 20 consecutive reel ends, your odds for a shiny Pokemon are a simple one in a hundred. I'm going to link below the calculator that I ended up using for this project. It really helped me with my shiny odds. One in a hundred. Those are pretty good odds, so I thought, hey, this could be a fun project. See how many chain fishing shiny Pokemon I could get before I lose my mind. Spoiler alert, it is gone. It's, I think I lost it. This chain fishing journey started started back in March. I was expecting to put in about 24 hours into this project, and as you can tell from the title, I did a little bit more than them. At the end of this video, I'm going to do the math and use my trainer card to see just how many hours I actually ended up putting into this project. I'm also going to talk to the fisherman on Route 16. He'll tell me the highest chain streak that I got so I can see if my counting was off and if I hit any super ridiculous numbers. So with those two things to look forward to and a lot of shiny Pokemon to catch, let's get into the challenge. But before we get into the video, we need to take a pit stop into a galaxy far, far away. Thank you Star Wars Hunters for sponsoring this video. Star Wars Hunters is a free-to-play arena combat game where you can face other players on battlefields inspired by iconic Star Wars locations. From Coruscant to Tatooine, there are loads of hunters to choose from. You can play as tons of iconic Star Wars staples like a Wookiee or a Stormtrooper, or as my partner would really like me to emphasize, two Jawas stacked on top of each other like two kids in a trench coat trying to pose as an adult. Look at them. They're wonderful. Star Wars Hunters Season 2 is out now. Click my link in the description to download the game on Switch, iOS, or Android. I decided the best way to take on this silly little challenge was take it route by route. So I started on Route 3. The encounters that you can get will all depend on the fishing rod that you're using. The old rod will reel in a super common Pokemon, while the good rod and super rod will reel in some cooler finds. On Route 3, the old rod encounter was Mr. Magikarp himself. This is the first shiny Pokemon of my of my chain fishing journey. A little golden Magikarp. I am pleased. I can't deny it. Nice. I wasn't counting, but I can obviously go back and count. But I think that was probably under 20. I, I'm watching Survivor right now, an older season of Survivor. And I'm trying to multitask while I do this. And it's really, really hard to reel it in correctly. It is virtually worthless in terms of both power and speed. It is the most weak and pathetic Pokemon in the world, and it is our first Pokemon of the uh, chain fishing challenge I'm doing. <laughs> He's him. He's him. Since there's only one old rod encounter, I switched to the good rod so that I could encounter a shiny Goldeen and shiny Corefish. I didn't find any more shiny fish after a few hours of hunting, so it was on to the next day. I think that was like chain number three or okay, not three, but that definitely early. Wow, shiny Goldeen already. And not the best shiny of them all, I'll admit. Let's go, shiny Goldeen. Can we find a core fish? Core fish is definitely, de definitely does not seem as common as, as Goldeen. Nice, shiny Goldeen, let's go, dude. That is a pink. Core fish. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. We throw a quick ball and we see what happens. So far, the chain fish luck has been pretty, pretty good. I had no idea the storm that was yet to come. The super rod encounters on Route 3 are all evolutions from the previous rod encounters. Seeking, Gyarados, and the rare 5% encounter, Crawdont. Going into this, I had no idea how I wanted to approach the 5% encounter Pokemon. Obviously, it was going to take a lot of work 
work and encounters to get them to shine. And I don't love this method hunt enough to get every single 5%, but I knew I wanted to go for at least a few of them. My two favorite 5% encounters in X and Y are Crawdon and Dratini, so I decided if I was going to grind it out for any of the 5%, it was going to be those two. And to make this hunt a little more fun, I decided to stream some of this over on my Twitch channel. I, I also think that lightning... Now that is a red fish. <laughs> Dude, I did this for two hours yesterday and I didn't get anything. Okay, let's go gamers. For multiple streams, I was fishing up honkers like it was March 2020 and all of my university classes were just canceled and I was not really finding much. <sighs> oh yeah, we're probably gonna see some repeats. I don't need it. I'm not KOing it. There is no need for violence here, y'all. Bye, Gyarados. Oh, all right. It's Jover. It's like, you could be... Where my seeking stands at, baby? Let's go! <laughs> seeking a seeking. All from Route 3. We have almost every single Route 3 shiny fish. We just need, we need Cronaut, which is just going to be tough. I did a lot of chain fishing off stream. Literally so many hours of fishing and finding nothing. If you've tried chain fishing before and found it discouraging, just know that you are not alone. I've had so many people tell me that chain fishing is easy and fun, but I actually found it pretty tough. It's just hard for me to multitask and fish at the same time because you either need need that visual cue or audio cue. For me, I need the audio cue, so this surfing music got pretty old pretty fast. I spent a lot of time shiny hunting on Route 3 for Crawdont, and I was getting super burnt out. I decided to jump ahead and just shiny hunt a bunch of Route 8 Pokemon. Let's go, dude. Lemonade! <laughs> oh, she's so beautiful. And it got to the point where I was able to find and catch every Route 8 Chainfish shiny for the old and good rod and i could just evolve them into their super rod evolutions is basically ah! okay i am never talking again the like an agency wow okay I... <laughs> can we all agree hands down one of the best shiny pokemon to just ever exist hell yeah red fish red fish red lobster Pink ball, pink ball, pink ball in a pink ball! After collecting every shiny fish on Route 8, it was back to Route 3 and shiny Crawdont. And obviously, you know, I could just evolve my shiny core fish. But unfortunately, I am pretty annoying and I wanted to see Crawdont shine in, in the wild. And one night while shiny hunting on my couch, something happened. Hello. Check out- Hello. Check out on the screen, it's a woman because of course it is shiny Crawdont. This is such, this is the second Crawdont that I've seen while chain fishing tonight. I've just been chain fishing on the couch for fun, just for the vibes. Not really thinking anything would come from it, thinking I would see like some seeking or something. Um, and shiny Crawdont shine first. I can't believe this! And I'm, I'm like only a tiny bit sad I didn't get it on camera. I can't believe it. Okay. And with that, I have caught all of the chain fishing Pokemon that can be caught for Route 3. Very exciting. Very cool. You simply love to see it. After reeling in that 5% Crawdon, I was feeling this drive to chain fish. Getting lucky with shiny hunting will do that, I suppose. I decided to tackle Salaj City next and look for one of my favorite shinies, Relicanth. Anytime I was starting to feel a little burnt out from this challenge, I would always just start over and, and go for one of my favorite shiny Pokemon. I found that it would help motivate me. Use this video as a sign to shiny hunt your favorite Pokemon, even if you're not much of a shiny hunter. Okay, so on my counter, I have 64 right now. Nice. A lot of locations will have the exact same fishing rod encounters, like Ambrette Town and Salage City. So I decided to switch over to Ambrette Town for a change of scenery while I looked for a shiny horsey with the good rod. Oh, a right lobster. 
I'm telling you, there are a lot of repeat Pokemon. Just like the Gyarados we found earlier, I was bound to find some repeat shiny Pokemon. Oh my god. Oh, shiny horsey! Oh my god. Finally, I was just about to end. I was just about to end. <laughs> I was literally about, I was literally telling myself 80 is when I call it, and this is, yeah, 76. I decided to move on to a new area, Shalor City specifically, after catching Horsey because I desperately needed a change of scenery. That's what catching four shiny Clauncher will do to a woman. I don't think this video is really going to put into perspective just how unlucky I was with this challenge and how long it took me. For a little bit of perspective, up to this point into the challenge, I had deleted 20 hours of footage because it was just dead footage of me fishing and not finding anything. And I literally had to just to free up the space on my hard drives. And not only was I super unlucky, but I was also just really bad at reeling in Pokemon. Oh. <laughs> another one. I then had another shiny Crawdot moment and found a shiny Remoraid when I wasn't recording. <laughs> that was at 52 chain fishing chain of 52 and i did not get it off on stream or on recording Ugh. and now it was time to venture to route 12. can i please just talk for a second about how much i hate this route i hate it so much i am not even joking i hit a chain of 200 and then i went over a chain of 100 three different times while fishing in this spot zero pokemon to show for for, for any of that of all the areas i chain fished at this was my unluckiest spot for sure good lord that took forever <laughs> i believe i've been doing i've been doing this spot right here for like I don't even know three days now and i was starting to think that maybe i was just like fishing in a bad spot or something i went i think 200 casts with nothing two days ago and then yesterday i hit 130 accidentally broke it and then i hit 120 got nothing and this was a chain of 57 remoraid good lord crazy how sometimes like it'll only take 20 and then sometimes we'll spend three days without anything and the best part is, I need a clam pearl. This is not what I want. <laughs> I decided to head back to Shalor City after Route 12 gave me so much trouble. The next day, I ended up fishing up a shiny Alomomola. She is absolutely having a brat summer. Nice. And I was also recording whenever it was announced that Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team would be coming to Nintendo Switch Online. Oh! So that was neat. And after catching a Lomomola, I made my way back to my toxic relationship with Route 12. Oh, that's tough. That was at 194. I reeled in too fast. Oh, yeah, yeah, clam pearl. Good lord. I've been recording three hours, 48 minutes, and I've found a Remoraid. <sighs> After finally finding Clam Pearl, I fished up a normal amount of shiny Octillery. Mm. Definitely wanted all of these guys and not just one shiny Corsola. Ugh. And hey, maybe I'm alone in this, but I actually kind of like Octillery a lot. I remember as a kid fishing up an Octillery outside of Sunny Shore City and thinking I had found a super rare Pokemon in my copy of Diamond. I was so excited since I hadn't seen this Pokemon before that I ended up using it on my final Elite Four team. So, hi Octillery. Good to see you again. There is only so much chain fishing a woman can do offline before she loses it. 242. So I decided to do some more encounters on stream again. Route 12 was being super unkind to me, so much so that I was getting worried I wouldn't be able to finish this dang video. So I had to rely on some good old streamer luck to get me through this. On my partner anniversary to do some something silly. Oh my god! Oh my god, wow! Chain of 50. Chain of 50. Thank you, believers, for believing in the Corsola. It's what I wanted. It's what I needed for the... Girl, 
Please be so for real right now. What I needed on this, uh, on this route. This is the last thing I needed and now I can go to a different route, which feels good. And just like that. We got it on a chain of 50, not too bad. Maybe I should start streaming chain fishing more. I've been doing all of this off stream. I'm excited to announce I'm done with this route. Thank God, I did not like this route at all. And it's time for a new one. Alrighty, well, we got one today. That feels pretty good. I'm feeling pretty pleased about that, I'll be honest. Okay, so for the next, for my next trick here, we're gonna go old rod here. Can you see how bushy his tail is? I really loved that this challenge brought me back to so many towns and cities in the Kalos region. The very city has a pond right behind a house that you can fish in, and I had no idea you could even get back in here. In this spot, I would be looking for Poliwag with the old rod and Poliwhirl and Basculin with both the super rod and good rod. Oh, I broke the chain. <laughs> 255. I had this running theory that every time I broke a really long chain, the shiny Pokemon would literally just show up a few encounters later, and Poliwag was proving my theory correct. Oh my lord! 10! A chain of 10! Dude, I'm telling you, this is how it always goes. I will get to a chain of 200, nothing will happen. Chain of 10? Oh, absolutely. So sick of this stupid game. <laughs> Good lord, Poliwag, where have you been? All right, that's a crit capture right there. There he is. I feel like I have some sauce here, honestly. Anytime a, a, a chain goes over 50, I should just like start over. All of my chain Pokemon, chain shinies, always come at such low numbers. <laughs> Its slick black skin is thin and damp. A part of its internal organs can be seen through the skin as a spiral pattern. Much to think about with that one, y'all. Much to think about. <laughs> I didn't need to know that. Follywag, put that away. Are you joking me? Chain of five and I already reeled it in too slow. I don't want to spoil yet how many hours I'd spent on the challenge so far. Let's just say it was a lot. But during a stream, I suddenly remembered something. This whole time, I had had a secret weapon in my closet. And I just had not been using it. Fish fear me. I need a shirt. Wait! I think I have a shirt. Please hold. I'm gonna go put a shirt on that matches the vibe. An item that could have helped me months ago and saved me from going this long into the challenge. I love this shirt. I forgot I had this. All right, now we can fish. I'm so sorry. I can't believe I didn't wear this to begin with. It's pretty great. Shiny on the next bite for sure. Oh, baby, dude, it just tells you that the shirt freaking works, baby. The shirt worked. The shirt worked. 99. Chain of 99. Man, I love fishing. I'm naming him Mill for sure. I can't enter that word. Why not? <laughs> the hell's the problem? <laughs> okay, Holly Milf. Okay, this should work, I'm sure. What are you talking about? We could always just do the classic. After catching Poliwag and Poliwhirl, I only had a few more shiny Pokemon to look for. A shiny Barboach, a shiny Basculin, and the 5% shiny Dratini. And if they try to leave, the men will like, you know, hit them or- Oh my god, what a thing to talk about while this thing shines. Holy moly. Okay. <laughs> oh, shiny Basculin. Okay. <laughs> Chain of 118. <laughs> Basculin said, wait, what was the book called? <laughs> we'll see if it can catch. I think it has a move that it can like hurt itself, right? Somebody mentioned that. Oh boy. Oh brother. Oh boy. Okay, take down. Oh boy. This will be fun. Dude, he refuses to shake for us. This man hates us. <laughs> he hates my shirt. 
Okay, we need to do the tried and cla the tried and true classic, clearly. You look away because you don't even want it to catch. Like, you look away because you're so uninterested in the ball catching the Pokemon. You literally could not care a little bit. Dude, get in the ball! <laughs> I'm throwing this ball. I'm fucking out of here. Bye! <laughs> Let's throw the netball. In the netball we trust. I had one netball and a dream. <laughs> guessing naive. I'm guessing stubborn bitch. I'm guessing sassy. I'm guessing sassy. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> All right, we're seeing a lot of barboach. I am very pleased with this. After finally catching Basculin, I made my way to one of my favorite routes in the Kalos region, Route 14, so that I could find shiny Barboach. We're looking for a Barboach. We're looking for a golden fella. The rumors are true. We spent a lot of time shiny hunting for Barboach, but thankfully streaming helped pass the time a lot more quickly. Streaming this project was definitely the right call. I think I've decided that my favorite thing to watch is, uh, oh! Oh, it's, a, it's watching a shiny barboach on the screen. That is my favorite thing to watch. Chain of 49. All right, I'm willing to throw a quick ball here. It matches. Barboach's golden shiny is pretty great. Finally, I made my way to Route 21 to catch the final chain fishing Pokemon, a shiny 5% Dratini. Obviously, I could go for a Dragonair as well with the Super Rod, but I like Dratini just as is. I knew that this hunt was going to take a little bit of grinding, but what better way to end the challenge than with a 5% encounter shiny Pokemon? We're hoping for Dratini here, which is obviously a tough one to find here, but we're, we're hoping. Card recently, there's the worm. And while I was looking for a shiny Dratini, I ended up experiencing a triple Dratini encounter. Three Dratini encounters back to back. I'm not very good at math, so I asked my partner on the odds of this. And yeah, that uh, triple Dratini before a shiny 5% Dratini. Double Dratini, ain't that crazy? Double Dratini. Third Dratini. Dude, again. Okay, Clay told me that it was one in 8,000 for that to happen. And that is the second time this has happened to me. I feel like it can't be that rare, right? I don't know, man. The triple Dratini? This happened yesterday. <laughs> Can we get a fourth Dratini? Basculin and his ugly face. If I had to guess, I'd say I'd probably spent around eight hours shiny hunting for a Dratini specifically. I dedicated some offline time for it, and I streamed two different times shiny hunting for Dratini. And finally, at the end of one of my streams, I got it. Life is over. One. Oh my god. Yes! Yes! Hell yes! Oh my god! Y'all, I've been in the middle of working on this chain fishing video, and I realized mid-editing that I hadn't caught Dratini yet, and I was like, oh shit. And I was so stressed I was not gonna catch it. Alaskan Bullworm would be the ideal name. I'm not sure if it'll fit. We got it on a chain of 165. I'm so happy. I'm so happy I got my pink worm. No love balls. Dude! Okay! And that was it. In this moment, I thought I had caught every chain fishing shiny or at least one from every line available. There were quite a few super rod encounters that I just wasn't interested in catching and would much rather evolve from the good rod encounter. However, I forgot about the Carvana line. Carvana and Sharpedo can be caught on Route 22 and I just... I, they just simply forgot to exist for me. I really love both of these shinies a lot, so this was an exciting hunt to do last minute. Oh, oh my god, that's such a good shiny. I didn't- I- oh my god, wow. This is my last one. Very surprised I didn't see a, a Goldeen. I'm taking it home. My last one on a chain of 24. Ending it on a low chain for once. It's over. Finally over. <laughs> Started this back in March, and it's finally ending now in August. Oh, feels good 
to have this done. Right, Poppin? Took so long, he's asleep. And now I had finished my chain fishing challenge. I caught all the chain fishing shinies I wanted to catch and evolved a few of them as well. I had two things left to do. All right, it's time. If I had to predict for my biggest chain, I don't think I got to the 300s. I can't remember. This is going on for so long. Maybe I did and I just can't remember right now. But I think maybe like barely 300 is what I got. That, that my highest chain. Maybe like 280 or something like that. All right, let's see. 288. Oh my god. Wow. 288 is my, my highest chain fishing chain. Does he give me something like this? Oh, I can get rare Pokemon? No way. Had no idea. And now to check how many hours this entire chain fishing journey took. I started this challenge when I had around 28 to 29 hours of in-game time. We'll round up to 29. I also spent around 14 hours shiny hunting in the Friend Safari for a week of Friend Safari, an event I hosted a few months ago. So we need to subtract 29 and 14 hours and 24 minutes from our total in-game time to find out how long this project Project took me. Okay, of 140 hours, 36 minutes would take away 29 hours and then 14 hours and 24 minutes. Oh my god, I'm rounding up. Thank you so much for watching this video and special thanks to Star Wars Hunters for sponsoring this video. Be sure to download Star Wars Hunters now with my link in the description. And thank you so much for watching this video. This was just a whole ordeal. This took me forever to finish. And I'm really satisfied with how this challenge ended up going. I have a ton of really awesome shiny Pokemon now in a generation 6 save file. And I want to do some sort of playthrough with all of these shinies one day. I'm not really sure what, but eventually I definitely want to do something with them. Also, just to say this in case anybody is mad, there were a lot of times where I would chain fish for a really long time and find nothing. Like, I wouldn't even phase with anything. And so I would just turn off my game so if i had to guess i probably went a little over 100 hours in this challenge so i'm sorry for the clickbait thumbnail but i probably did actually go over 100 hours thank you so much again for watching i'm really really excited about the next few videos i have to post for you all they are such good ones i'm really really excited to edit them but for now this is my last video before i go on a little bit of a vacation so no streams from me for a while but i will see you in the next video soon